is uh, when a pitcher comes set and they make eye contact with us, we're going to always show them a little bit of movement. And again, it's it's just the regardless of whether it's a forethought in the pitcher's mind or not, it's just trying to take their immediate focus off of their goal, which is delivering a good strike to the hitter at the plate. A lot of times we'll get guys who double take on us, but it's just a little subtle movement where if a guy's coming set and they're going to make eye contact with our hitter, we're going to start going this direction. Again, it's it's just to break their focus for even a split second. Uh, I, I had a guy who works with pitchers at the major league level tell us kind of that, and I, I've used it ever since then. It's kind of been a cool thing, and our, our guys at third base love doing it. Our base runners end up love being pests, and it's, uh, it's kind of a fun thing for them. Um, two, we're going to be ultra aggressive on dirt ball reads. Every time a hitter gets to third base, I tell them pretty much, if, if a ball's gonna get kicked off of the catcher, if it's gonna get outside that dirt circle, we gotta score. So that's our thought process at all times. If it gets outside the dirt circle, wherever we're playing, we gotta go score. That's our plate right there. So we do kind of a left-right hop. So if any of you guys are infield guys and you're familiar with like the tennis hop, we do kind of a similar thing into that at third base. So we don't wanna end up too far out here because with some of the catchers we play, we've got some good arms, and this puts us in a tough position to get back picked here. So we're gonna be more of a finding rhythm again with the pitcher, and it's just gonna be a left, right, boom, and we're just in a good tennis hop here where our guys are athletic getting both ways. Um, one of the things too that we've started to do, and it gets our own catchers better, is our better runners will get a little bit further down, and they're gonna hang out here until the catcher makes the throw back to the pitcher. So a lot of times, and we, we talk to our guys and harp on them about this, the things that we do in baseball are almost just, it's almost just because it's a built-in muscle memory thing for us. So catchers, you're taught to what? Catch the ball, look at the runner at third base, throw the ball back to the pitcher. Well, what we started realizing with our guys especially was we were getting down to here and our catchers were just peeking at us and then still throwing the ball back to the pitcher without ever making us commit back to the back. So then we started working a little bit farther and farther down to where when one of our catchers flipped the ball back to the pitcher, we're scoring with ease off of that. And it's it's to help our guys get better too, to understand that somebody, it might happen once in a season, but you wanna help prevent your guys from having that happen to them, right? So we do stuff like that in practice where it's just, it's just hey, we're gonna hang out here in space until we, we really get that catcher committed to throwing back or that they commit to getting us back to the bag here. Um, and we do that with, we put pressure on across the board with our, our fielders and, and everybody. The other week we had a fly ball go behind the six hole, shortstop catches it and we tagged our runner from third base and scored him because again, shortstop comes down and he came here but he wasn't really ready to make a play. It was all just show because you're taught what? Get the ball, look in for the next play. Well, he caught the ball, looked in for the next play and then had to double clutch and try and throw that ball home, rushed it, our guy scored. So it's, 